who better to help us do that than the man we're about to speak to, Bruce Buffer, the legendary Octagon announcer. Bruce, thank you so much for joining us on Fox Sports Australia. What an honour it is. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. It's an honour for me too. Now, Bruce, you are someone who's been synonymous with the UFC for so long. If you could even put into words what the past 25, 30 years of your life has been. Well, I celebrated 28 years in the Octagon last month, and all I can tell you is that it's just... Every day I wake up, you know, wearing UFC on my chest as, as I'm doing right now. I'm very proud of it. You know, it's it's um, every show I do, like this weekend, Saturday at UFC 300. I, you'll never hear me talk about past shows beyond, you know, past great fights or whatever as far as what I did or what I do. I've got to prove to myself and to the fighters, the fans, and the powers that be, Dana White and everybody, that I deserve this job every night I walk out. So come Saturday, to me, it's like time to prove to myself to do, do, to do and perform the way I'd love to do and the passion I love to put on the floor because I just, I'm a huge UFC fan and I love my job and these warriors, men and women, both are the greatest fighters in the world and all in abundance are some of the greatest people you'll ever meet. I'm just honored to be there. So I consider it very special. I always stay very humble about everything. The show's not about me. It's about the fighters and it's for the fans. Hey, Bruce, Rob here. And, you know, just, just jumping off that, it's good to speak to you. I can see the investment you have in the fighters themselves. I can see the energy and the professionalism you bring into, into every single fight on the card. I've got to ask you, some of these nights are so long. Once you've done one shows, ten shows, a hundred shows, how do you say so invested in the fighters themselves and in you know, just, just giving your best performance, like you said yourself, like giving your best performance every single night? Well, thanks, Robert. Thanks for the kind words, and thanks for dressing better than me this time. What's up with that? <laughs> you know, again, I'll get back to it. Um, I am so honored to have this position, and I'm so passionate about my work. And being in the martial arts background that I have, I've been training since I was 12 in various, I have three black belts. I kickbox heavily for 10 years and fighting's in my DNA. My grandfather was champion of the world in boxing in 1921. And my dad was training me fighting, you know, from an early age from six years on. Um, I just have such a fighter mentality. And I know the fighter mentality very well that you hold Robert and you too, Alex. Uh, my respect factor for you gentlemen, along with the ladies that walk into the octagon and every other person, is huge. And it's that respect factor for what you do and understanding what you do and having a feeling for what you do that drives me passionately to do what I do. And my love for it so much is one that I just don't go in and, oh, I, I, I don't go in and just phone it in. I go in, don't go in to do a job. If it comes to like that for me and I can't passionately do what I do, I'm going to hang up my mic and retire. I'll be done. Um, I'm not just going to do this for a great seat and a paycheck. I do it because I love it, and I love watching you warriors put your blood, sweat, and tears on the octagon floor. It's, I, it, it's an amazing experience to announce at work in my favorite sport. My, my other favorite sport is surfing, but my favorite sport is mixed martial arts. You know, I love it. It's the best I can tell you, Robert. It's my love for the sport. And thank you so much for the, for the, for the honest answer. Hey, Bruce. My pleasure. Uh, Sorry, mate. Hey, Bruce, how are you? Uh, Alex here. I just wanted to... You're so good at working out, working the crowd out, like working them up, getting them uh, ready. You, as uh, Rob was saying, you do such a great uh, job uh, doing that. But I wanted to see... You've been to so many events. UFC 300 is obviously going to be another big event. What is one of the yeah. best crowds you've ever been uh, present, been, been involved in? You know, every... And again, thank you, Alex, for looking as dapper as you look right now. I should have <laughs> put on a different shirt. <laughs> um... Listen, every country, every city has its own flavor. You know, whether you're in Rio de Janeiro, whether you're at the O2 Arena in London, which is one of the most exciting, uh, the fans there, they go crazy. Uh, Montreal, the O2 Arena there, Madison Square Garden, uh, the mecca of, you know, fights that have happened in the last century. But I got to be honest, you know, I'm always honest, pardon me. I, I hate when people say that, I have no reason to lie. Um, going down under, going to Sydney, going to Melbourne, going to Perth as we're doing this year. Australian fans, New Zealand fans, Auckland fans, you're in a world of your own. You know, <laughs> 10,000 sound like 100,000. And they're so appreciative of you as the warriors that you are, as I am. It's like we're all just one huge fan base just having a great time. So the amount of excitement that happens in a Melbourne arena and, you know, Sydney arena, is, it's huge.
So I have to say it's one of my favorite areas to announce, no, most definitely. Well, that's incredible. I imagine so many Aussie fans will be stoked to hear what you just said, Bruce. Thank you uh, very much for saying that. One, one more before you go, Bruce. If I could just ask, not only... You can ask terms, two. <laughs> not only in terms of uh, a moment, but is there a fighter for you that stands out as, as the best that you've ever announced? Someone that you watched perform and just said, wow, this guy or this girl is something else? You're sharing the studio with two of them right now. I can't <laughs> even go beyond that. I mean, you've got Alex Volkanovsky. You know, you got Robert Whitaker, and I'm not just saying this because I'm looking at both you gentlemen. You're two of the greatest fighters that have ever stepped foot in the octagon. You've proven it over and over and over again. Sure, I can mention others, George St. Pierre and John Jones, of course, we'll all respect him being the, the goat that he is. Um, the beauty of the UFC is there's so many great fighters. There's been so many great fights. There's been so many great events. It's impossible, and I'm gonna speak for Alex and Robert too. It's probably impossible for any of us to say that there was one great fight that stood above all. There's just There's just so many. And the moment I see the greatest fight, I see the next greatest fight two weeks later. Even on a prelim, it doesn't have to be a main event. You know, the, the first fight of the night on UFC 300 is Cody Garbrandt and Davis and Figueredo. That's the first fight of the night. If that doesn't tell what the rest of the car is going to be like, I don't know what does. Yeah. yeah I'm, my, I'm got to I'm thank you for that. You. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm blushing like you. This may be my favorite interview ever. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, obviously, you've been uh, in the presence of so many great fighters and uh, to be talking to about us like that, that means a lot. So we, we appreciate, appreciate that a lot. Thank you. I speak the truth, my man. I only speak the truth. So that's the way it is. You know, again, the fighters are great and uh, the fans are so good. That's why I do a lot of videos and a lot of audio recordings introducing fans as champions like you gentlemen in the octagon to give them keepsakes for life. I mean, the fans love you and the fans love the UFC. They're just some of the greatest fans in the world. It's just, I want to give back. And you have an app down there called Swish, or people write me at brucebuffer.com. And um, it's it's a side business, but we get partial proceeds to charities. But I just love making the fans happy because they do so much for us.